If I were to say a few things about the medical program itself, I'd say that in years one and two it gives a very good foundation in the sciences, including of course the biomedical sciences, but also the social sciences, psychology and ethics. And then this is revisited in years three, four and five, when students spend most of their time in the clinical settings of hospitals, general practices and community practice. However, throughout, the programme is patient focused and by that I mean that students will be encouraged to think always about what it's like for the patient to be empathic to their situation and concerns, to put them first and indeed to work with them as equals in the doctor-patient partnership so that treatments are negotiated and agreed rather than simply decided by, by the healthcare staff. Therefore, we have our students working with patients and developing clinical skills right from term one, year one, out in the general practices and within our clinical skills centre. Much of the medical programme is comprised of compulsory modules, or blocks as we call them. But the learning methods are very mixed with lectures, online resources, group work and clinical work, all, all blended together to reinforce that learning and always to link it to patients. But there are also some optional projects um, and this is where students might carry out research or undertake our unique postgraduate certificate in leadership and health management. Now, I've emphasised the study in the sciences and the importance of developing independent study skills to prepare our students for ongoing, lifelong, self-regulated learning over what will be a long and we hope satisfying career. But we also have an eye to preparing our students for their very first clinical jobs. And we know this can be a daunting transition. So to support our students with this challenge, we have situated the final exams within year five, rather than at the end, leaving several weeks for an assistantship when students will undertake the role of the foundation doctor under careful supervision, of course. Um, and on graduation, medical students progress to something we call foundation posts. And that involves two years of practice um, to be undertaken in the UK if students want to achieve full registration with the GMC. Currently, international students have permission to stay in the UK to see this through and to gain that full registration. Now, after foundation posts, doctors undertake either core postgraduate training or embark on, on one of the specialties training programmes. This is a, another competitive stage, but during the training, they can continue to work and earn a salary. There's a vast range of opportunities after foundation and we'll be able to describe these further to our students during the medical programme.